Meanwhile, Ali, in the Senate, there were some dramatic moments from lawmakers on the Judiciary Committee. Yeah, really dramatic, really fiery. Take a look at what this hearing has looked like, and then I'll explain why. Watch. Now, Mr. Chairman, you just destroyed yeah. one of the most important committees in the United States Senate. The chair would and you've set a precedent the chair which will know. be repeated every time one party or the other takes advantage and takes the low road. The chair will note it sets a precedent that will then be become the norm. Congratulations Amy. on destroying the United States Senate Judiciary Committee. I mean, this is so unnecessary. To ruin the committee over a political exercise that's going nowhere. Destroying the Judiciary Committee, as one Republican senator was saying to the chairman, Dick Durbin. All of this is because of something that Durbin is doing procedurally, basically not letting these Republican senators talk before nominees are voted on in the Judiciary Committee. That's substantively and specifically why they're angry right now. But the larger context of this is that today in the Judiciary Committee, they're about to embark on considering subpoenas for conservatives like Leonard Leo and Harlan Crow, who are at the Senate center of the Supreme Court ethics battle. Durbin has been leading on this, saying that he wants more testimony and more public light shed on what's going on between the Supreme Court and some of these conservative donors who people like Justice Clarence Thomas have been linked to. Republicans, of course, have been stonewalling that. So technically, this is about a procedural thing that Durbin just did, but actually, it's not, Jose.